Hi everybody, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. Before I get started with the reading, I just want to take a second and thank all of my subscribers. Thank you guys so very much for all of your likes, your shares, and your comments. Thank you to my new subscribers and thank you to all of my subscribers that have been with me. Thank you so very much. If you are looking for additional guidance aside from the weekly and monthly tarot forecast that I offer here on my channel, please head over to Facebook or Instagram and follow me there because I do actually draw and upload a daily oracle guidance card every single day. And if you are interested in receiving a private reading from me, please head over to northeasttarot.com. I do have it linked below in the description bar and read about how I offer my private readings. Right now, for a limited time only, I am offering 2017 yearly readings. So if you're interested in receiving a 2017 yearly reading, please head over there and book yours now. And for these general tarot forecasts, please be sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising signs for the most insight. If you do not know what your moon or rising sign are, I do have also linked below in the description bar a website that can calculate that for you for free. So please head over there and enter your information so you can get the most insight into these weekly or monthly tarot forecasts that I offer here. And if you do not subscribe to my, my channel, please do because I do upload every week. Uh, and also every month as well. So I do wish you guys just a wonderful week. Stay tuned for the reading. Hi Aries, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of December 12th through the 18th. This is for Aries Sun, Aries Moon, and Aries Rising Signs. So at the bottom of the deck, I have the Lover's card. Okay, so the Lover's card can represent the sign of Gemini. So for some Aries, there could be a Gemini that's quite significant this week. But also the Lover's card can represent a choice or a decision um, that is needed. So for some Aries, you might be waiting on a decision or you actually might be uh, making a choice this week. A choice could be very significant. Now, the overall energy is the Eight of Wands, and the Eight of Wands can represent communication. So for some Geminis, you could be receiving a decision this week. For others, this is you maybe communicating that decision or that choice. Uh, the Eight of, of Wands represents communication, but also this can be things happening suddenly. Um, with the Eight of Wands, this is that very sudden or hasty energy, so there could be a lot going on this week for many of you. This is also forward movement, so for some of you, you certainly could be traveling. We do have the world here, so there could be some Aries that are literally traveling to see family. Uh, we have the Ten of Cups here. It is Christmas time, so there certainly could be some Aries that maybe you're traveling uh, with, the, with the world here. Uh, for some of you, it's definitely long distance travel. You're maybe traveling to see your family. And then I feel like um, for a very small number of you, there could be some Aries that maybe you want to travel to see your family, and for whatever reasons, maybe you can't this year. Um, with the star here, I feel like this could be very hopeful that you will be able to maybe travel and, and spend time with your family this holiday uh, season. But for maybe whatever reasons you can't, because I have the three of swords here, I, and I do feel like I'm speaking to a very small number of you. Maybe, you know, your, your job won't allow you any extra time off or something like that. For some of you... You know, there could be a decision surrounding this. Um, or for some of you, maybe you're in a in a you know a predicament where you have to make a choice whether or not you're going to travel to see your family, but maybe for some of you you just can't this year and maybe, you know, you know, it's very disappointing, but everything is still going to be fine. Um for others, I absolutely seeing you. I do see you traveling to see your family. Um, 
And this reading is only till the 18th. So, I mean, there's still plenty of time before Christmas to travel. So I'm not sure if maybe, you know, I'm picking up on, you know, some energies where some of you want to travel a little bit earlier. Um, maybe you're trying to get some, some extra time off or something like that. Um, but the world is also completion. This is for some of you, a very long chapter within your life that's completing, and now you're moving on to that next chapter. But with the Three of Swords here, for some of you, I think that you're trying to end a particular chapter uh, within your life. So for some of you, this could be mental ex exhaustion or some sort of disappointment, wanting something to happen a little bit quicker. With the world, um, this is a beautiful blessed energy and this is happening for many of you, but it always requires patience because it's easing out of one chapter and then easing into the next. So for some of you, I think I have this energy here because you're a little bit impatient um, we also have the Ten of Cups here. Tens represent cycles that are completing. So I do see many of you in the process of, you know, ending a, a chapter of your life and moving on to the next chapter. Absolutely. Um, uh, but patience is definitely going to be required. Now, for some of you, if maybe you've gone through a breakup with this Three of Swords, there could have been, you know, some sort of loss or some sort of sadness here. I'm not sure what this is, but I see you healing this. We have the star directly underneath the, the Three of Swords. So this could be related to family. This could also be related to relationships. Whatever this is, I see you healing this. This is a beautiful healing energy. This is also a divine energy. So this is your angels, your guides around you, guiding you and also, you know, bringing that healing energy to you. So this is beautiful. So you do have this beautiful energy around you. So whatever this is, if this was a loss or if this was some sort of pain or, or, or difficult time that you've gone through, I see many of you with the world here and also the Eight of Wands, I see you moving away from this. Whatever this is, I see you healing and I see you moving on. Um, for some of you, it's going to come down to you using the sword. We have the Ace of Swords here, which does represent communication. And some of you need to make a decision with the Lover's card, the Eight of Wands, and the Ace of Swords to communicate to speak your truth, to use this sword to maybe cut down to the bottom of something, or for some of you, maybe sever ties from something that's no longer serving you. So for some of you, you, you might need to use this sword. Um, with the Ace of Swords, it's a double-edged sword. So this sword can cut both ways. And I feel like for some of you, there's something, some sort of communication or some sort of maybe severing uh, ties when it comes to a difficult situation. There's something that is needed here, but I feel like with the Eight of Swords here, for some of you, you're holding yourself back. This is a restrictive energy, but it's 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 literally self-inflicted. You know, some of you are putting yourself in this mental prison with the Eight of Swords. This is fear, this is anxiety, this is worry. So for some of you, you need to use the sword, but it's almost like you're you know, too scared with the Eight of Swords. This is um, you fearing the worst, worrying unnecessarily. So for some of you, maybe you need to speak your truth or maybe you need to use the sword. There's a difficult situation. And for some of you, it could be a situation dealing with three people, but there's some sort of restrictive energy here with the Eight of Swords where some of you are too nervous, too scared to maybe speak up. And I think that you need to. Um, there's healing energy that's trying to come through. And now also there's there's a cycle here, Aries, that's trying to complete. Something is trying to complete here. Uh, the universe, your angels, your guides are trying to get you to move in a new direction. They're trying to get you to go down a new path. With the fool here, this is a new beginning. This is you walking out on a new path. With the star here, I believe this is your angels, your guides, trying to get you to move in a new direction for some of you. Now, there could be a Scorpio Cancer or Pisces individual because we have the King of Cups here. So there could be a water sign, a male or female individual that's quite significant here. Uh, for some of you, maybe this is the person you need to release uh, with the Ace of Swords here. 
for other Aries, you know, this is maybe you needing to listen to your intuition. Um, for some of you, you need to listen to your intuition. For some of you, you need to follow your heart when walking down this new path. I see this new beginning, Aries, that's available to you, um, but something has to complete or there, need, there needs to be like a release of maybe a situation or something that's no longer serving you. Um, but I can see here with the Eight of Swords, some of, some of you are fearful or fearing the worst. Uh, I can see here that there's a decision that's needed and there also very well could be, for some of you, a situation going on dealing with three people. So this could be a love triangle. This also could be something business related or something uh, family related. I'm feeling family and also romantic more than anything else. And when I just lifted up the lover's card here, we actually have justice here so this could be something to do with a marriage or a divorce absolutely for some of you that's what you need to make this decision or this choice in regards to is maybe whether or not you're going to get a divorce and walk down this new path take this risk um, but uh, we have this eight of swords here which is some of you fearing the worst or holding yourself back uh, for some of you, you need to speak your truth now, because it is, you know, because it is Christmas, if this is a love triangle, uh, this reading goes to the 18th. So for some of you, this is you feeling torn. Um, do I go to this person's families, this person's family for Christmas, or do I go to the other person's? It, it could be a situation like that. Um, but really needing to follow your heart and listen to your intuition. Aries, uh, when it comes to this, needing to overcome this energy here. This is a restrictive energy, but you can release yourself, many of you, you can free yourself from this energy because it's you just really worrying unnecessarily. Definitely uh, a cycle here is trying to complete Aries. There's definitely a cycle that's trying to complete your guides. I feel like they're trying to move you in a new direction. But some of you are maybe hanging on to the past. Um, some of you need to make a choice. Now for others, let's see here. For others, this could be a family situation that's been difficult, um, but I see healing energy that's around you. Maybe there's a very small number of Aries. You could have been waiting to be able to move to a new home. You could be waiting on communication from a water sign person. You could be waiting on communication from maybe an Aquarius, maybe a Gemini. Uh, so for some of you, you, you certainly could be waiting on communication um, with that Eight of Swords energy. It could be more of a confusing energy where there's maybe a lot of confusion or even some uncertainty surrounding this situation. Um, but just know with the Ace of Swords, this is victory. This is victory after going down a very long road. So I see many of you moving towards this victory. Again, with the world, it requires patience because this is you easing out of one chapter of your life, easing into the next. So with the star here, you, you need to keep the faith and remain positive because you are absolutely being uh, divinely guided towards the success and also this new beginning here. So just remain positive. This is actually, you know, this is, um, if you're relating to uh, these, these energies in that way, this is a great spread for you. Overall, I think it's going to be a great week for you. Emotionally, I see you healing. You could be spending a lot of time with friends or family. Um, financially, uh, I don't feel like it's going to be a bad week. I don't think that that's where your focus is at, at all, Aries. And then for those other Aries, I feel like a choice is absolutely needed here or some sort of movement forward, releasing yourself from maybe fears and anxieties. Now, I had two cards that just flipped out for you, Aries. The first one is Archangel Gabriel. You have an important life purpose involving communication in the arts. Please don't allow insecurities to hold you back. I will help you. So not allowing insecurities to hold you back, Aries. Also, communication is very important. 
And then we have Isabella. Yes, the timing is right for this new venture. A happy outcome follows your positive expectations. Such a lovely confirmation, Aries. And this is one of my most favorite cards. You can see here how beautiful Isabella is here. So you need to remain positive, Aries. Yes, the timing is right for this new venture. A happy outcome follows your positive expectations. So Aries, I do hope that you found this reading helpful and I, I wish you a wonderful week. Take care.